Every day, our bodies are bombarded by millions of potentially harmful microbes. At the same time, hundreds of mutations are occurring in our cells, some of which might even turn into cancer if left unchecked. Yet, here we are, happy, healthy, and still alive. How, how is this possible? Let's take a second and thank our immune systems. It's a complex network of cells and signaling molecules that's designed to protect us. But things don't always go as planned, right? In fact, it can even turn against us. Today, more than 50 million people in the United States suffer from diseases caused by an overactive immune system. This raises the really important question of how does one turn down the immune system but without shutting it off? It turns out immune cells are some of the chattiest cells in our bodies. They're constantly communicating with each other. Their language consists of either sending each other chemical signals, you remember passing notes in class, or using touch like a form of molecular braille. Today's medicines, they were designed to either take a sledgehammer to these conversations, totally knocking them out, or sniping at them one letter at a time. But what if new medicines could embrace the beautiful symphony that is the immune system in its full glory? What if we could design materials that could listen in on the cellular language, harness it therapeutically? In fact, today, it's possible to design new materials that not only listen in on the conversation, but actively participate as well at just the right time to make a, a massive impact on how these therapeutics can treat the disease. In preclinical models, this approach has shown some really promising results. More work is needed, but it's clear that this new approach may offer exciting new possibilities for the millions of patients in need worldwide, actually in the not-too-distant future. So stay tuned, everybody, and thank you very much.